And then finally, there's a lot of research in face recognition. Remember, Stanislas de Hen said that the right hemisphere is dominant for recognizing faces, and we've known that for a long time. Um, but we have more research published by Pitcher, Dilks, and Sachs, same Sachs, in 2011 in the journal NeuroImage, um, that shows that the right hemisphere is important for facial features, um, recognizing one feature from another and paying attention to facial features. So if we look at patients on an fMRI scan and we look at different parts of the brain, the right FFA, which is the facial fusiform cortex, that's the facial area, that's the part that recognizes faces. If we look at that versus um, other regions of the brain that are important for processing facial expression or interpreting um, a specific facial, uh, facial expression of one way or another, we can see that the right hemisphere is organized in different ways to handle different aspects of facial recognition. The right facial fusiform cortex, right at the bottom of the occipital lobe, you can kind of see that top image on the left. It's very important in knowing whether it's my husband in front of me or another gentleman who is as tall as my husband, has about the same shape, same color hair, but it's not my husband. So that's where we recognize faces as people we know. But we have other regions of the right hemisphere that are important for facial expression um, and movement of faces. So that's another area we want to look at that's being studied by neuroscience. Mm -hmm.